Sorry? You knew we were backed up today. I promised you'd have this back by one. Well, I can't get the staff these days, can you? Still, when you're running the place, you can choose your own. Me? Yeah. There'd be more cash in it for you. <laughs> That's if you don't bankrupt me. And if I don't come back from the States. For America? Yeah. Me, Jean, and Zoe. We're going together. You kept that one quiet. Yeah, well, you're the only person that knows about it, so until I go, I want it to stay that way. But what about Dawn? What about Dawn? Was she going to? You're joking. <laughs> and keep that to yourself as well, because I don't want any embarrassing scenes in the first class lounge, you know what I mean? So are you interested or what? Yeah, definitely. I do the shifts marked in blue, Louise does the shifts marked in yellow, and Paul does the rest, marked in purple. Well, that won't work. The cross with the gold stars. I thought that was to do with Louise's cycle. Wrong. Paul's Thelma Louise gigs. That's, it's Friday and Saturday night. No, we, we need all hands behind the pumps. It's his career, Bob. I don't want to say the word nepotism, but you know, if I were to launch my career in stand-up comedy and only work weekends, you would tell me to pull pints elsewhere. That's right. Blatant nepotism. Unfortunately for you, I don't have another relative to fill the gap. Three little letters begins with V, ends in L. Four little words over my dead body. You know, what, what we really need behind this bar is a bit of glamour. Keep piling on the compliments, Bob. And I know the young lady who ticks every box. Tamsin's too posh to pull pints. Can you see her having a deep and meaningful conversation with my regulars about baler twine or slurry? There's nothing wrong with raising the bar over the bar. She talked down to the customers and then moan about getting beer on a Jimmy Choo's. Well, excuse me while I open the door and let in the human torrent of applicants. Give the girl a ring, get her in. See how she gets on. Give her a week's trial. Take all the holidays that you can have. Well, it's not the same as watching her grow up, though, is it? If only there was something we could do to stop her. We've just got to accept it. It's always won. She was always going to win. We've just got to come to terms with it and, and, and move on. Do you know, I've got a good mind to go up there, get her drunk, cause a fire in the kitchen, then ring up social services and tell them that she's had another one of her schizophrenic turns. That'll put a rocket up them to do something, wouldn't it? That's a bit drastic. Needs must. That's the last one. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. See you again. I'll do another sip. Yeah, not as bad as I thought. Do you want to get off and see Debbie? No, thanks. I mean, if you want to see the baby. Well, I thought you'd have turned up as soon as all the serious graft is done. Homework revision. <laughs> Funny, this sudden enthusiasm for schoolwork. On C Pine. I think I've worked up a thirst. Any chance of a chip butter in Afri Shander? Yeah, if you make it yourself. You can clean up this muck spreader while we're out, and I might just overlook the fact that you've been on the game station all morning. You lazy kid. What do you like? <laughs> Cos we're still at that honeymoon stage, you know, sorting out which side of the bed, the wardrobe, the bathroom shelf. Which half of the gas bill to pay. Yeah, well, I'm putting that bit off for as long as it's decently possible. But I've always reckoned we women should pay our way. What? It's just not in my nature to sponge off some fella. Then I must have been existing in some kind of parallel universe for most of my life. Or have you been cloned for a decent upstanding model? Of course, it would be easier if I had a regular income, you know, until my soft furnishing empire's up and running. Ah, oh, no, what you hear this conversation's going, no. Go on, Diane, I'm very experienced. Yeah, I can attest to that. The customers like me. And you were doing so well up until that point. No, Valerie. Is that a no-no or a no, maybe it's no? It's a strap me to the rack and hear me scream, bury me six feet under, no. Dad's out until tonight, so uh, how about an extremely early night? Uh, oh, only something's come up uh, just before I met you uh, at the restaurant. What kind of something? A, a sea bass supply problem. Thin scale fungus. It's, it's a well known fish disease. Uh, and sea bass is today special. So change it to something else? Oh, 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 well, I, could, I couldn't possibly because there's a party booking and they've specifically requested it. And it's a birthday party, so <laughs> I couldn't disappoint them. So I've got to go to Scarborough uh, and pick up a box right now. 
this move is a chance to make something of myself, to start up a new business. Show Gene what kind of a man her dad really is. Well, money's not exactly an issue. Well, it is to me, because I want to provide for my daughter in my own way. How did, how did Dawn take the news? Well, I, I haven't let her know yet. You haven't told your girlfriend that you are moving to America without her, Scott. What about your mother? I will. When the time is right. Zoe, which box of toys do you want to take? Uh, hold on, I'll come in and show you. You've only got 24 hours. I'd get on with it if I were you. Well, you're certainly going to miss her, aren't you? Yeah, we all will. <laughs> I've seen the way that you look at her. Fancy a bit yourself giving half the chance, wouldn't you? I'm not discussing Zoe with you. Yeah. Well, this is the score. There's a first-class ticket to America with my name on it. Me, Jean and Zoe, a new life. She's too soft on you. And I'm not going to let her put up with a lippy gamekeeper with an attitude problem. Understood? Good news, eh? What is? Oh, Dan's cancellation. <clears throat> Operation. Oh, you didn't know. Dan, um, I've opened my mouth there before engaging my brain, sorry. Me storm reversal. Consultant secretary rang just after you left. I've got a cancellation next week. That means I can check in as soon as I'm back from Benice's. That soon? I thought you reckon you had to wait ages. Best get it over and done with, and I can get on with the rest of my life. Inspection. There's nothing of yours in here. Cross me hard. Hope you die. Well, then you won't mind me having a look, will you? <laughs> Louise's, I she think. She lets us borrow them. <laughs> Eric's bathroom needs freshening up a bit. My mug, I think. Oh, no, no. That's when my Beyonce CD got to. OK, OK. You don't know how humiliating it is moving into a fellas with nothing to your name except a suitcase and a transistor radio. Well, you've only yourself to blame for that, Mallory. Give us a chance to better myself, Diane. A decent, honest living for once in my life. Doors that way. She reckon she was psychic, could make out everything he was thinking. A psychic dog? You're joking. No, 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 a veterinary miracle. Of course I'm flipping joking. But didn't we leave those papers in the office? What papers? Oh, right, those papers, yeah. Get them in, Max, won't we, though? Oh, by the way, the bank have set up a new account. Use it for contractors, wages, maintenance. But all the checks have to be countersigned by Rachel Watmore. But trust me not to run off with the cash, eh? The system protects both of us. So are you. You've had it so rough, I don't want you to get hurt. You deserve better. Than what? All Scott cares about is himself. You throw your lot in with him, you're going to live to regret it. Listen, I appreciate your concern, but this is the best move for all of I'm us. I'm sorry, I know I'm speaking out of turn, but I don't think you should trust him. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Need a hand sorting things out? Uh, no, I think Cam's got it all covered, thank you. You know I used to manage this place? Yeah. Engraved on the memories of most of the tenants. I'll be in the office if you need me. You know, he is getting way above himself. You leave him here in control and he'll cause chaos. I can manage my own business, thank you. Well, the offer still stands if you want it. I work for you from now on, for us. I want to play my way. You really have grown up. Well, I've had to, haven't I? It's called being a dad. Interested, very interested. I mean, in fact, I'm teetering on the brink of making you an offer. Just let us measure up the kitchen. Sure. So that's Jean's birth certificate and our passports. You won't forget yours, will you? No. And I'm going to put you on our health insurance and travel insurance, and that's all covered. Well, I've sorted out the business. Rob is in charge, and I've spoken to the bank.
I'm Sue Hallows from Social Services. We're looking for Zoe Tate. What is it? You should know we've received a phone call making certain allegations. What kind of allegations? Someone's complained about Zoe. Could we discuss this further? Do I have a choice? Don't tell me she's hired you. Well, if she hadn't, I wouldn't be the side of the bar, would I? <sighs> Diane, you've been ageist, discriminatory and sexist. Wrong on one count. You were a female last time I looked. Where's my pint? Oh, sorry, boys, got thirsty. You know, I've got a new barmaid to pour you on. Oh, really? Two pints of lager and a pint of bitter, please, love. Hope you shape up better here than you did in the office. I don't respond very well to such a regimented work schedule. I'm more of a people person, actually. You're not a natural at this, are you? How do you stop it going all frothy at the top? Come here, like this. Right. Right, well, I'll leave Bob to take care of you, gentlemen. Same again, or do you have to rush off and see your new baby? Excuse me, young lady. Let me know how I feel. Something to do with you. Let's get back to work, eh, son? I'm sorry, I know you're related, but after all he's done to Libby... I don't care if he's been on the front pages of the Sunday papers. If you want to stay a barmaid, you glue a smile on your gob and you keep your opinions to yourself. Understood? We have some concerns about your state of health and that of your daughter. Oh, what are you on about? I'm Jean's dad. I see her every day. There is nothing wrong with her. You're Zoe's partner? No. She never wants for anything. Zoe is a brilliant mum. I am perfectly well. My illness is under control. So you either tell me what I am meant to have done or you leave. Are you taking your medication? As you would know if you'd bothered to contact my CPN or my psychiatrist. Could we see your daughter, Miss Tate? Well, what the hell for? Just do it. You've got nothing to hide. Well, she's upstairs with a nanny. Could you get her for me, please? Yeah. This move to America, are you sure you've thought things through? No, I thought I would just drag my daughter halfway across the world on a whim. You want to see my daughter, you see her, then you leave. Otherwise, I'll be calling my solicitor, OK? You don't smell a fish. If you've been heaving boxes of bath around, you'd stink. I'll tell you what, why don't you ring the restaurant and check if I was there? Mm, good idea. You wouldn't humiliate yourself, would you? What's up, son? Then you've nothing to hide, so you've nothing to worry about. Or is it something to do with the fact that you don't want me to know that you've been seeing another woman in full view of the entire village? You saw us, then. You're admitting it. I don't believe this. Well, if you don't trust me, Nicola, that's your problem. I saw you with another woman, Simon. That's your problem. We were in the street, in broad daylight. Oh, yeah, we've obviously got loads to hide. So who is she? And why did you lie to me? You wouldn't believe me if I told you anyway. So why don't you go and vent your paranoia on someone who's interested? You see that line on the glass? Well, that's where the liquid's supposed to come up to. Try again, eh, love? Bob? I showed you. Yeah, it's like this. Right. You should have paid Bob double and been done with it. It's only our first day. And if the manager had any sense, it would be our last. Uh, a vodka martini and a sex on the beach over here. Next, please. I take it that remark wasn't addressed to me. Eh? Not unless you want to hop in your car and the tide's not in in Whitby. Come. Oh. Oh. better. Like a vulture waiting to swoop. It's up to us to make Tamsin work. If we don't, that's what we stuck with. What the hell's... That sea is useless. Ruined. The little swine. Does? Thanks for that. I'm sorry we've interrupted your playtime, Jean. You okay, Zoe? 
guess it's just a misunderstanding. I'll, um, I'll explain later. And uh, what about family support? Well, I have a perfectly good support system in place, as you can see. It, it can't have been easy for you to pick up the pieces. I understand you've lost two brothers and your father in the last few years. What has that got to do with anything? She's got me. We're, um... We're all going to be a family again in America. You're accompanying Miss Tate. Yes, he is. Not that that's any of your business. Uh, so now that you've assured yourself that there's nothing amiss, perhaps you could leave us in peace. It's been nice to meet you, Zoe. I am. Um, I hope you enjoy your time in America. Oh, I fully intend to. I'll see them outside. It was my mum that rang, wasn't it? She was uh, adamant you shared her concerns, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Why would I do that to Zoe? It's my mother. She's evil. And I don't want her to know that I'm going to America because I wouldn't put it past her to ring up the airport and say I've got a bomb in my suitcase. That's nothing to do with me, Mr Windsor. Only two people know that I had two brothers. One of them is you. I may have let it slip. We've been talking about you loads. She's been worrying that you're taking Jean away. I could kill her. I didn't think she was thick enough to go through with it. You discussed calling to social services with her? Yeah, only because she was upset. Only because she didn't want to lose Jean. I told her not to bother. Why did you even need to have that conversation? She's off her head. Why else would she try and ruin your new start in America? She doesn't even know you're going yet, does she? Yeah, I, I told her earlier. No, don't lie to me, Scott. I've just heard you telling the social worker what is going on. I told her not to do it. I said you'd gone mental. Last. We're getting somewhere. You have discussed calling the police, complaining about me with your mother. Haven't you? I'm sick of lying to you. But now that you've asked me to come with you, everything has changed. How exactly? My mum was upset because she was going to lose Jean, and so was I. I wasn't going to let her go without a fight. Oh, I see. So, um, all this time, you've been working as a team. Oh, I get it. Any father would have done the same. All I wanted was a family. You can't blame me for doing everything I could to try and keep her. Oh, and everything you could include calling the social services. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? Do you know how vulnerable my schizophrenia leaves me? Scott, were you... Were you going to stage an episode where you're going to get me drunk, give me drugs before the social worker arrived? No, I would never do that. Well, I must have gained a reprieve by offering you a ticket to America because that is the only thing that's changed. You're too weak to tell your mother, so she just carries on regardless. You're playing a dangerous game, Scott. Why the hell should I take you with us now? The only reason that I wasn't straight with you is because I was terrified of losing my daughter. But the one thing that I've never lied about is my feelings for Jean and my feelings for you. You are the two most important people in my life. Do you think I can trust you now? After all this? <laughs> all that matters is me, you and Jean. A family. Don't let my mother's mind games mess all this up. Not now that we've come so far. I'll see you tomorrow. We're almost there, Zoe. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Have you any idea how much it's going to cost me to buy more in? Well, I'm not fit. Of course I turn the old pipe off. Well, you must have required a poltergeist all of a sudden. Look, I didn't leave it on on this. Look, I'm not arguing. Just get your backside into gear and give me a hand with this lot. See if we can save any of it.
So you can cancel the ticket for Scott Windsor? Yep. Yep, full refund. Thank you. Cancel Scott? You can go to hell. I can't believe it's just stupid as to trust me. Ashley, all this time, he has been plotting with his mother behind my back. Hold on. What's happened? Yesterday, you were making plans to leave together. Yeah, well, he confessed as much. He and his mother have been putting their heads together to try and get my own daughter taken away from me. But she's called the social services. She... She told them that an out-of-control schizophrenic was trying to abduct her granddaughter and it took me an hour to... Actually, it took me an hour to convince the police and the social workers that the only person with psychiatric issues is Viv. That sounds extremely underhand. It's manipulated me into asking him to go to America, and just like he's deceiving his mother now. Do you honestly think that Scott's capable of such elaborate deception? Oh, Ashley, he's more than capable. His arrogance makes my flesh crawl. And then all this nonsense about independence, setting up a new business, I bet you anything. It would have been my money that paid for it. How can I have been such a gullible fool? You've told Scott this. Not yet. But you've cancelled his ticket. He'll find out the harsh reality when it suits me. Not a moment before. I am going to enjoy every moment. Revenge is never going to be sweeter. I want him out of our lives for good. Thank you.